Most people know how to create a bar chart using the default options in popular data visualization software. But knowing a few quick hacks to improve the default chart will make your visualization stand out and your data story shine. To create a simple bar chart, set your data up as shown with categories, in this case food type, and values for each category, in this case revenue. Highlight the data, click insert, and choose 2D column. Doing this will create a very basic bar chart. From here, we're going to make the following improvements. Add data labels, remove unnecessary chart elements, reorder the data bars, decrease the space between bars, and change the bar colors to highlight specific data. If we want to compare values for the revenue of each category, we are not helping our audience by making them guess based on using the y-axis values. Let's put data labels directly on our bars to remove that work for our audience. Click in the chart, click the green plus sign, and select data labels. Now the value is directly over the bar. This makes our grid lines and axis redundant. Let's clean up the elements of the chart that we don't need. Click in the chart, click the green plus sign, and click chart title and grid lines to remove them from the chart. To remove the Y or vertical axis, click in the black arrow next to axis and then deselect primary vertical. I also removed the chart title. I tend to move my charts to better programs for presenting and I will use that software to add in my storytelling title and annotations. To clean up the chart a bit more, we can reorder the bars so they go in descending order. To do this, Select Category and Revenue, add in a filter, click the filter in Revenue and choose Descending Order. You'll notice that the order of your data in the chart now goes from greatest to least. Making this change increases the ease with which our audience can discern the values if they're just skimming over the visualization. There's too much space between each of the bars in the chart. A major use of the bar chart is to quickly compare heights of the bars. If you wanted to compare your height to a friend, you wouldn't stand across the room from one another, you'd stand back to back. So we should do the same for the bars of our chart. To fatten up the bars, click on any of the bars in the chart. Locate the gap width option. Notice that the default is set to over 200%. Change that gap width. I usually use about 65%, but feel free to play around with your values to get your desired width, as this value will change depending on how many bars are in your chart. You may also want to highlight just one or two categories for your data. To change all the bars to gray, click once on any bar, and then use the options under the paint bucket menu to choose a gray. Next, double click on the bar you'd like to highlight and then select a new color for that one bar. You'll also want to make sure that you make your font sizes big enough for display during a presentation. If you know you'll be presenting this chart, you can copy it into PowerPoint and make additional enhancements along with adding a storytelling title and any annotations. Taking just a few minutes to make some small changes in the default option and bar charts can really make a difference in how your audience views your data.